So, it's the world premiere of my new hair colour. Um, there's none of light in this room, I'm not sure what colour it's going to come out. Let's see. By the window, how does it look? Plummy? It's supposed to be plum? It's supposed to be a plum shade, anyway. So, I'm going to see Scott Pilgrim again today for what is now the third time. And since I thought I would like it because of Michael Sarah, that's a lot of times. But, um, I, did I say what happened about when I tried to see Grown Ups? I've been put off completely seeing this movie. And um, everyone was set, everyone went into the screen, all the people going to see it, right? It was quite a lot. And then a light bulb went off or broke in the projector room. Or something that was like a something stupid like a light bulb. Everyone had to leave. We're not showing this film again today because it takes so long to change a light bulb. So I was kind of quite annoyed and just felt like don't watching it until it's a, at least until it's in a different screen because I just thought I was pretty pretty rude. They gave me a free ticket and I'm like, well that helps. I have a pass. I don't need a ticket, so I told my mum she can have it to see Harry Potter, because she loves Harry Potter, so it's valid for three months. I think it's still valid when Harry Potter's on. So I said she can have it to see Harry Potter, which I thought was nice. Because I go with one of my friends, but like, um, my friends either have cinema passes or don't like the cinema, so it's a bit pointless. It's no use to any of them. Or like, I'd take my goddaughter, but she'd need a child's ticket and this thing's valid for an adult, so it's kind of stupid. So, nah. I'll give it to my mum to see Harry Potter. The hair, I'm so excited. It just feels, I mean, it doesn't even matter if it doesn't look that much different. It just feels like I've got a nice new hair colour. And it definitely feels better. And I mean, I'm just, I'm looking at the ends and I'm quite aware. So it, it something so it's going to have to get cut eventually. Uh, Christmas, I will let Sarah cut it. Apart from apart from me, Sarah is the only person I'll trust with my hair anymore. So I'll I'll let Sarah have a, a trim in it, and I'll maybe re dye it as well or something. Something with a fringe. It's all weirdies. There's bits of short hair falling all over the place. So yeah, world premiere! Woo! Hi, so I wanted to talk about this year, 2010, so far, and so it's only August, there's still a few months to go for movies. But so far this year, movies overall have not been great. I'd say 9 out of 10 coming out have been piss poor or worse and that includes the straight to DVD releases this year I think there's less than 10 films I have significantly enjoyed that were released this year ok so I might buy a DVD that's 10 years old of a film I've never seen that doesn't count it's not this year the films that I have seen this year that I enjoyed and I would say this is an order is kick ass Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Wreck 2, um, obviously I hate the quarantine films, but Wreck 2 was good. Eh, bah, bah, bah. I had a list earlier and I just posted it on Twitter. Um, Wreck 2. Now I've forgotten. Uh, hot Tub Time Machine the cra in the Crazies and get and get them to the Greek as well and that is less than 10 films and they're the only ones that have particularly stood out this year as being above average but that said at least Triangle that was the other one four of those films Kick-Ass, Scott Pilgrim, Triangle No, that's only three films. What would be the... Right, okay, four of those films. Kick-Ass, Scott Pilgrim, Triangle and Hot Tub Time Machine 
and I know it gets a lot of hate, but this is my opinion. Those four films stood out this year as being so far above average, it made up for the 9 out of 10 that sucked. Um, you know, I don't even think there's anything that was straight to DVD this year I liked. I did enjoy Blood River that I watched the other day and I said I'd review it. And um, I have watched it, but I really want to watch it again before I review it because I watched it in my bed and I was half asleep. And I think I missed a few points. So, I want to watch it again. Um, the films this year that have been good have made me go and see them multiple times. Kick-Ass, a record-breaking 12 times I saw it in the cinema. Um, Hot Tub Time Machine I saw four times. Triangle I saw three or four times, and Scott Pilgrim I've seen three times already, and it's only been out for about four days. So, it's, yeah. I mean, there's still so much to come out that I'm looking forward to, but it's whether it delivers. There's Machete, there's Let Me In, and there's The Last Exorcism. Those are the three that I'm really holding out for for the rest of the year, which could make up the top ten best films for the year for me. But it, I just don't know. Last Exorcism is only a 15. So people posting to Eli Roth on Twitter that it's the scariest thing ever. Well, it's a 15 and it's not an 18. So I'm not sure I'll agree. I mean, there's also some utter tripe coming out. I noticed there's a paranormal activity too. And the only thing that made me go, yeah, was the fact a baby might get possessed in it. I just thought, no, come on, this is just so dull. Who wants paranormal activity too? I don't understand people who were scared of paranormal activity. I want to laugh at them and then I think, well, maybe that's cruel. Maybe they're just people who, are, who, who get scared easily or whatever. But to me, you want to laugh. I want to laugh at people who get scared of paranormal activity. I don't understand what there is to be scared of. It's just boring footage and then someone goes, bah! big deal, I could film that it's just, to me it, it's not interesting and I'm not insulting the people who liked it, or the people who were scared okay, I suppose I am to an extent but I'm not meaning it, I'm not trying to insult them I'm not trying to be horrible I just personally don't understand what there is to be scared but I remember when Scream came out now Scream is a spoof it's satirical, yet I had friends who were guys who were 18 or older at the time who said they were frightened. I remember renting Scream with high hopes and realising about 10 seconds after I put the VHS in the, the player that it was a spoof and that it wasn't going to be scary. My mum's favourite thing in cinematic history to this day is the cat flap death scene. She wets herself laughing at that. That is her ultimate favourite. So... This year, 2010 movies, overall disappointing, but for the few that have been good, you have been so far above the bar of average, you are amazingly wonderful films, and I thank you for existing. Goodbye. <laughs>